Hello everybody. Welcome to a quick demo of how to create email body templates with LaceNet. You can call this a quick and dirty because there are different ways of doing this inside LaserNet. This is just one of them, and this is a fairly simple one. So obviously you are able to use a lot more logic and other uh, tools inside LaserNet to make it much more complex and uh, automated. This is just to give you a quick glance of uh, one of the, the ways of doing it. It goes without saying that to do this, you need to know a little bit about LaserNet and you also need to know how to configure uh, it when it comes to job infos and connecting it, connecting it to Exchange, etc. This is done inside LaserNet and not something I'm going to show you today. I'm just going to show you the basics of it. What you actually are working with is your ordinary confirmation where you would be working with this to create a normal document. Now you want to create an email template. We go down here and we add. Then we write in body email body. There we go. We change this to XHTML. Okay, now we have the HTML track and we have the template. And the template itself is empty right now. But I have created an ordinary order confirmation, which is the one I want to use inside the, uh, as the email body uh, design. We just add this. There we go, and add it like this, okay. Now we actually have the foundation for doing the entire thing. Uh, here we go, just want to make it a little nicer to look at. And now we have a number of data, it's just to be able to, to do the tracking because as soon as you've copied in this data into the template, LaceNet automatically creates XML tags for all the data in the email. And now you're actually ready to do some mapping. Let's say you want to find a new order number and maybe, maybe even a new reference person. Uh, hang on. There we go. Uh, here we go. So, a new order number and a new reference. The order number is here. And let's have a look inside here. Let's say is this confirmation document number. We map this into this one. And your ref, we can have this one. This guy would be your ref and our ref could this be this number here. Here we go. What happens is the template is still looking like this, but the data is now mapped to uh, the live template. And we, if we just press preview, we will see that we've gotten the new order number, this one. We've gotten the reference, both the the guy and the number. So we're actually good on the way now, mapping data directly from the XML coming from uh, Dynamics into an email body. But if we then say, okay, we want to add, we don't have any payment. I want to add a payment. We can actually work with this inside uh, the template and say, okay, payment terms net we we need a different text Arial, and i think it's 7 net 
eight days. So we have a new text. And if we look at the XML, it has now created payment terms, net eight days. And we have this over here. So we rearrange payment. We want payment instead of payment terms. And we want this one, the data, instead of net eight days. So payment terms is a net days is, is still this one, but in the preview, you will see it is payment and net 60 days. <clears throat> what if we want to add a campaign? It's good to have a campaign inside an email. We can do this as well. Let's just uh, do a small reconfiguration of this one. And we want to add, for example, an image from a file. We go into this area and look for, we can write in tabella. I don't know. It's... There we go. We do create this one. It gets very big, way too big. But as I said, you can work with this inside the template and move it out here if you want. So it's just an image now, and we want to create a hyperlink. So text display doesn't uh, have to have any. Just put in the web page just for this is not right. I hadn't clicked the image. So here we go. Hyperlink now. OK. This is it. We press a preview. And now we get this not that good looking document, but I think you get the idea. And now we have a hyperlink inside of this. It opens in the tabella one. And we have obviously a hyperlink also for adding directly to if you want to send an email, etc. And this is basically it. This is what you need to do when you uh, create an email body uh, with data directly from Dynamics, you need to set job dates, job infos, you need to set the connection to an exchange or another email program. But what I would recommend is for you to take contact to one of our many skilled uh, consultants, and they will be able to tell you how this works. I recommend that you actually contact customer service at tabella.com and they will be able to help you. Thank you very much and have a good day.